Today, we're going to show you the area of complex figures. A complex figure is a shape composed of several smaller, simpler shapes, like this. Now, this figure really has a base of 20 inches, a side of 16 inches, and a total height of 21 inches. The top base of the trapezoid is 9 inches. Now, we have to break this figure apart, like this. Since we don't need this 21 inches, we're just going to delete it. Now we have to label this trapezoid. The base is 21, no, oh, sorry, 20, because the base of the rectangle is 20. And its height is 5, because the total height of the figure was 21, and the height of the side was 16. So 21 minus 16 is 5. Now that we've labeled it, we have to find the area of the smaller shapes. The area of the trapezoid is 1 half the height times the, first, no, times the first base plus the second base, which means 1 half of 5 times 9 plus 20. Once we multiply those out and add the, tw the 9 and the 20, we come up with 2.5 times 29. And when you multiply those, you get an area of 27.5 inches squared for the trapezoid. 72.5 inches squared for the trapezoid. Sorry. Now we have to find the area of the rectangle. The area of the rectangle is the base times the height. So we have to do 20 times 16. Once we multiply those out, we come up with 320 inches squared. Now we have to add these two areas together. Once we do that, we come up with 392.5, which means that the total area of the figure is 392.5 inches squared. Now that you've done that, you have the area of the complex figure. To summarize, you have to, when you have a complex figure, you have to break it into its smaller shapes. Once you do that, you have to label whatever shapes are unlabeled, find the area of each of the shapes, and then add those areas together. And once you're done with that, you have the area of the complex shape.